welcome back friends after long days uh, i am recording this video uh, in this video session we are going to see how to store the password in encrypted format um, i am going to show uh, using a billing system in the billing system i have not added that feature in this video we are going to see how to uh, store the password in encrypted format ok In the security config as of now we have given password encoder no ops password encoder get instance this will store the password as a um, plain text okay hmm. as of now we don't have any data we don't have any data okay let me create one user here <coughs> let me create one user i'm starting the server uh, if you uh, watch all billing system project, you definitely know that we have a four kinds of users. One is organization user, um, then uh, employee user, customer user, vendor user. In this video, I'm going to show uh, using organization user. I'm going to create organization user who can have uh, all the permission to manipulate the billing system. Okay. Hmm. So already started now. I'm going to register organization user. These are request data for uh, to create an organization. This uh, this JSON is available part of billing system project itself. If you download the billing system project from the pinepad.in, the part of project I have uh, this uh, JSON request. You can take it from there. Um, now I'm going to uh, send a request. See, uh, I got the success response. If you look at the database table, organization created user ID is the owner of that uh, organization, organization is user ID 9. See here, user ID 9. He is a user ID 9, whatever that I am sending here, Suresh at BMP.com. You can see here also. But the password is stored as a plain text, one, two, three. Now we need to change this as a encrypted format. For that, we need to do some few steps. That's it. Um, first, we need to uh, store the password in encrypted format. Uh, for that, we need to add one line of code. This is the line I'll go, I commented out now. See here, organization.getUser. From the organization, I am taking the user object. From the user object, I am setting the password. Setting the password. From where I am taking the password, again, organization.getUser, get password. This will return. This will return this password right one two three this password that password i'm encoding using password uh, password encoder dot encode this will encode the password and uh, set that encrypted format password in my your uh, password field of user object the user object coming from organization finally that organization object i am storing uh, in the database using organization repository dot save of organization now this uh, user data stored will we'll store with the encrypted password now. Let's see that uh, now it's happening or not. I'm restarting the server. Now we are going to remove the data, all data now, okay. Data removed. Now we have no data in the database. Again, I am going to create a new user. Server started or not? Still server is not started. Yeah, server is started now. I am going to send the request again. Yeah. User created, let's check the DB, organization created with user ID 10. Still, still password is not stored as an encrypted format. Even, I added the code, right? I added the code here. Where I added the code, here I added the code to encrypt the password, but, but still it's storing, storing as a plain text. Okay. For that, we need to add one more configuration. First, we need to add this. 
in the security um, config file let me open the security config file in the security config file you can see it's a plain text only i'm, I'm saying that's the reason it's storing as a plain text so we need to add this just to remove it we need to add this here i am saying i want to store the password in encrypted power encrypted manner huh? whenever I get the password i want to get as encrypted manner i want to store that password as encrypted manner for that we need to add this particular configuration so using this password using this configuration we can store the password in encrypted format then whenever uh, access the uh, in the encrypted for en encrypted uh, uh, password we need to use this configuration by combination of these two uh, two uh, by by combination of the two configuration we can um, store the password in encrypted format as well as whenever log into the u system whenever log into the system what we will do we will we'll go into use password as 123 that password will be um, matched with the encrypted password okay that happening through this configuration okay that's happening through this configuration okay now i'll go into restart the application again let me clear the data data cleared so it is starting yeah so it is started now now i'll going to send the same request again let's see what's happening now let's check the database i got the success response let's check the database now see now i got the password as a encrypted format see organization you can see organization user ready tire user ready with 11 that 11th user having a encrypted password because of this configuration which configuration uh, where is config file yeah because of these two configuration these two configuration mandatory okay hmm? now next step is we need to log in right now i stored as to store that password as encrypted now i need to log in to the system whenever log into the system I, and the user will enter only that readable format only now that readable format should match with that encrypted password which is stored in the database i want to do that operation that operation also happened through this configuration you don't have to do any additional configuration for that okay hmm? now i want to log into the system for that we need to use one more endpoint authenticate this endpoint we need to use for login when you log in uh, in this process i am using jwt right whenever you log in what will happen for this credential uh, it will create a, a jwt token that is the expected output i am logging to the system whenever logging to the system if this data is valid what will happen it will create a json web token okay that json web token we should get as a response after successful login okay we, whenever send this data the 123 will match with match with this encrypted password using this configuration let's see that's happening or not my username is suresh at bmp.com I'm sending the request. I got the success response. That mean that meaning we are able to compare this password with the encrypted format for en encrypted format password. Okay, this this is a step you need to follow to achieve uh, encrypted format in a Spring Boot application. Okay. Now I have done for uh, organization user. Now I have done for organization user. Please try yourself. For other users, for other user, I'm using the uh, user public controller. I think not public control, private control. In the private control, you can see here uh, storing employees, storing customers, storing vendors. When you look at I, um, when you look at this method, all the method there is one method I'm calling do registration. Do registration. In the do registration method, we have you need to enable. You need to enable this line, uncomment this line, then add this line, add this line. 
that will work okay if you are facing an issue please let me know i will help you out okay guys that's it uh, that's it uh, we will meet in uh, next video until then bye bye from suresh still not subscribe this channel please subscribe it share this video to your friend circle click bell icon for regular updates thanks for watching this full video